As we become more concerned about where our produce comes from, it seems that butcher shops are coming full circle. Many are now specialising in processes and products that you may not find under plastic in a supermarket. And that's what I'm looking at in the magazine this month. Modern trends in cooking and presentation. Great ideas to try for yourself. Now I've asked my local butcher Liam to prepare some tomahawk steaks for me today. Their large ribeye still attached to the bone which gives them their name. Now, if you think they're impressive, just imagine the reaction when cooked and served to the table. You might want to do this on a barbecue, because believe me, there's going to be a lot of smoke. This steak's at room temperature now, so just drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil and season it with sea salt. Then over to a very hot grill pan and we brown the edges all the way around. Then put it down on one side for 12 minutes and don't move it. We want those lovely ridge lines to appear. Then flip it over for 10 minutes on the other side. Now you'll need to preheat your oven to very hot, 215 degrees, because we need to finish off cooking the steak for eight minutes in the oven. And after that, we take it out of the oven and cover it loosely with our foil and let it rest for about 8 to 12 minutes. If you want to check with a meat thermometer, you want it about 63 degrees for medium rare. A new vegetable on the scene are these kaolettes, grown in Mount Barker, and they're a cross between kale and Brussels sprouts. All I've done is added some walnuts, some orange zest, and a good liberal dose of olive oil. They go into the oven, 180 degrees, for about 15 minutes, and they'll crisp up beautifully. In the recipe, which you'll find on our website and in the magazine, I've given you the instructions to make a tarragon reduction, which is the basis for a homemade Bernays sauce. I think that's all you need to finish off a steak like this. Now, the final step, of course, is to cut it along the bone and then cut that meat into strips. A steak like this is ideal for two people. So why not ask your local butcher to prepare a tomahawk steak for you?